Earlier this year, I did the longest stream I've ever done in almost two years, but I never took the time to make it into a video. Until now. 600%. The longest security breach speedrun category had never been done in one sitting. And I wanted to change that. A 100% speedrun of security breach is pretty long. You need all eight security branches, all Freddy upgrades, all like 140 something present collectibles, all 50 note bags, and all 16 discs. Even if you memorize the exact position of all 200 plus things, speedrunners took about three hours to complete these runs. Also, if you forget something at the end, good luck figuring out what it was, because while runners memorized all the collectible spots, we did not remember what was all in them. So just looking at the list meant nothing. I had been practicing these 100% speedruns, but not because I wanted a good time in 100%. I had a different goal in mind. There are six endings in Security Breach, so the 600% category was 100% but six times. All 200 collectibles, all missions, upgrades, everything. But you finish with a different ending each time and completely restart. 100% escape ending, 100% princess ending, and so on. Taking that three hour 100% speedrun timer and making it six times longer. Not only that, but to make it more complete, playing Monty Golf and Balloon Boy was also required for each 100% in 600%, despite them not actually giving you anything. Quick math, you're looking at about 18 hours to complete a single run of 600%, if you don't make too many mistakes. There had been people who'd done the run before me, but they had taken a break to sleep or whatever healthy people do instead of gaming 18 hours straight. My greatest fear was forgetting items, because if I got everything done only to realize I missed something, the run could easily go on way longer than I wanted it to. I expected as well that as I got tired I'd play worse, dying to shit and potentially losing hours of time since I didn't save much during the runs. I also had what is probably the only Twitch sub goal you'll ever see me have. A year prior to this when I was barely pulling 10 viewers, I had sarcastically said that if I ever hit a thousand active Twitch subs, I'd get a tattoo. Honestly thinking it would never happen. By the time I was finally ready to do 600%, I was weirdly close to that goal, so I decided I'd get a Giga Monty tattoo because to me he was the icon of my initial channel growth, so I'd be down to carry him with me. This video is the story of my descent into madness as I sought out the first true 600% run, the ups and downs of my longest stream of the year. This video is so long because it envelops the full 600% experience. Endless hours of going as quick as possible broken up only by telling stories and experiencing bugs together. There's a reason I didn't touch Security Breach for like three months after doing this run. Oh yeah, also this was in March. <laughs> so my stream still had many redeemable sound effects and ticking. And the game version I played on was the most updated version at the time, so post big February update. After every 100% I'll check in and let you know how I was feeling, but otherwise 600% is all yours. Better not be rusty. Nah, I'll be okay. Plus, if I am, you know, I'll be playing this long enough that I can de-rust. I'm gonna go back for this gift. I just... As long, no, I can't. I didn't think so. I really... We gotta remember to get that. Because doing this six times over, I'm not missing shit. I fucking refuse to. I'm confused on the split name. Fazer Discs? Yeah. At that point, it's like endgame shit. And I'm getting my 10th disc in Fazer Blast. Fuck off, chicken. Wow. It says Fazer 10 dicks. Yeah, it's just how I spelled it last night, okay? What is E E E E? It's uh split. Where we press E a bunch. Opinion on hentai? Do you like ramen spiff? Yeah, I like ramen. More than I like hentai. Hey sad son. Building a new D, &D character, how would I make Gigamonty? Intelligence zero? Like I don't know, other stats really high, but intelligence for sure. A low score. It's kind of the key element of Gigamonte. We have to decide if it's gonna be faster to go and get the fizzy faz from upstairs from Taco Time. I think it's smart. It's just hard to say. Cause it'll give us extra stamina, but we gotta go up and get it. Could jump over that wall, but I'll probably just miss it and I could just go around. Just imagine, I'm like, you know, 10 hours in, I make a mistake. We're resetting. 
I hate this run. I gotta, like, wrap my head around the fact that any mistakes I make, I just have to live with. This is natural ticket, guys. This is the pure stuff. Oh, get a whiff while you can. Take it all in. Pizza. So was bad. There's a split, guys. Yeah, okay, we're gonna try yeah, Chad's draft for this. That's totally what I meant by Chad Strat. Nice. Successful Chad Strats. All right, not bad. Gonna grab Freddy. Because I forgot two collectibles. Didn't you Hi. forget a present? Between the Freddy Fizzy Faz and Pizza Bot? Yeah, I did. Thank you for the reminder. This is E. Good luck getting a chat message in. I think this Freddy is the T posing Freddy. Oh my god, that was like four frames. <laughs> Holy shit. The the T pose room leads into here. And it's gone after a while, so it very well could be. Is this gonna be a video? If I can stomach editing a 14 hour VOD, maybe, yeah. What do you think's gonna be our quickest 100%? Like the first or last kind of thing? You think last? I think gonna like fourth, because by the end of the day, I'll be, I'll be, you know, sinking into a pit of exhaustion, but. But halfway in, I'm gonna be warmed up. Gonna be still have energy, mint. So this happens smoothly and without incident. Incident being an endo in my path. Oh yeah, I played a shitload of Terraria. I played like a Terraria summoning items only playthrough once. And it was terrible. Because I don't know how the game is with that now. But when I played, there was like two summoning items before Wall of Flesh. So you had to last on like, I don't know, like a fucking mud glob staff or some shit. Lamau, you guys want to do a funny? Let's do a funny. <laughs> oh, I don't think it messed it up that- Oh god, I know it did. It did its job. Yeah, so my camera has now been... <laughs> you know, a chiropractor appointment gone wrong. Gregory's head is slightly tilted to the side. God, I- I- I'm sorry I'm putting you through this, actually. It does hurt. It'll be fixed as soon as we enter a charging station. We got Fred head, now it's time for chicken dead. Dude, where are all the robots? Guys? They went on strike, they're dead. The bots finally unionized. It's like that, that Will Smith movie. Or that one robot game. Detroit, Become Human. It's like that game. We're doing Escape, Princess Quest, Vanny, Van, Fire, Afton. Show the Vanny YouTube's? It's up there. It's in the window. Okay, I'm sure you can see it. I'm sure the light isn't just totally fucking dwarfing it. Fuck. Chicken? Chicken? Chicken. Like, she's not making many busted sound effects. She's just coming after me. Chica feels different today, guys. How did you- You say he's on the- Okay, Lydia, but I come back for you. If Lydia's the lid, what's the box? It's, um, it's like her clothes. <laughs> and every time we take off the lid, we're undressing her. Look away, chat. It's not for your eyes. <laughs> Booba? Lydia? You spelt the title. Well, you spelt spelled wrong. What did I spell wrong in the title? Collect tables? Is it collect tibbles? Can Chica lay eggs? And if so, can we peel them? No, Chica's a robot. Of course she can't lay eggs. I've never tried to check if she can lay eggs, but I've shot her many times, and she hasn't, so... <laughs> Would the egg be metal? I mean, why the fuck not? If we have robots laying eggs, they might as well be metal. Sure, yeah, that makes sense. Who's her partner? I don't think chickens need a partner to lay eggs. Who's the egg's father? It's... it's... Uh, Monty, of course. Alright, we missed this gift, but now we didn't miss it. That was one hour out of many. Yeah, this has gone fairly smoothly so far as well. 
Oh, oh, you called me in front of the Chica gate. Oh, okay, let me just, let me just, what the fuck? What, what the fuck? What just happened? What? Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> All right, new patch is pretty cool. Did you teleport? Yeah, it wasn't my fault though. <laughs> that bitch just slipped right through. Yeah. Okay, you know what? That's a good point. Yeah, I forgot a message because of this. How are the pillows in Canada? Is that the pressing question you've been trying to ask me for like the past hour? They're the same as everywhere else. I'm pretty sure we fucking import them from wherever you import your pillows from. I don't think we make many pillows in Canada. They're full of Canadian goose feathers. I doubt it. I mean, oh, you guys want to know a fun plane fact? So like bird strikes are a really big issue. Birds hitting planes do be happening all the time. And so engines need to be able to handle, you know, contact with birds occasionally. And the way they test it in Canada is they toss frozen Canadian geese carcasses into jet engines. Because it's got to be able to handle them, right? So they just toss it in. And to be fair, these engines can handle, you know, one or two Canadian geese. They, they still can't handle more than that. They've been having a bit of... Was that a prediction? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> 5,000. God. It's okay, Eric. You'll get it back. Don't worry about it. Tell us a weird fact, you know? Despite what everybody thinks, I was actually about to bring up bagged milk. Despite what everybody thinks, I've never even encountered bagged milk. I don't know where the fuck you guys are finding this Canadian bagged milk. I had somebody DM me the other day a picture of a bag of milk in a bag and said, how to scare a Canadian. Ooh. You live in Ontario. Okay. It is Ontario. Okay, guys, Ontario, totally different from the West. They're like the smart people and we're like the farmers. If you go to France and try to speak like, you know, my French, so like decent French, how do French people feel about people trying to speak their language? Because in Quebec, no, 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 no. You try to whip out your, your half-baked French, they shut that shit down. <laughs> they kill you. Do they? I thought people in France are better than that. If you're in Paris, they'll bully you, but if you're in a countryside, they're hype about it. Okay, that makes sense, because Le Paris is probably very sick of the French imposters coming in. All right, that's the first escape. Woo. What's the difference between Canadian French and normal French? I mean, just some cultural differences. French Canadian swears are all just like parts of the church, like physical parts of the church, like the tabernacle. Oh. And I don't know if, I don't know if uh, France is like that. No, this isn't an ending, no. I'm gonna be doing escape ending every single time, guys, because you need to do escape ending to get into the late game. But yeah, I went to Quebec, uh, twice. And both times I, I tried to speak French because, you know, you go to school for this language most of your life. Despite how little effort I put in, you still want to try and use it. But, you know, I'm at Subway, I'm like, pizza soup, and they're like, Oh yes, Westerner, you can have a pizza sub. Never before seen. I've never done this on stream before. So, I looked at what you're required to do for this run for Balloon Boy. Because I'm pretty sure it's a never-ending minigame. You're required to, like, get the purple bit, and then you just quit out. I got both bags. I actually specifically wrote that in my notes, because I missed one once. But no, it looks like we're good. Pew. That's Mermaid Chica. Where is Freddy? Why do I have Monty Golf music? Fucking Freddy is in Monty Golf, I guarantee it to you. We're still getting like on and off Monty Golf music. Is it in here? Yeah, it is, okay. 
Oh, Freddy! Wow, so good of you to join us. What a nice guy. And Roxy disappeared. Okay. That's 10. Okay. I guess I'll split that now. I don't know what's going on. Freddy, fuck! Oh. He did it, guys. Next, we're going to the arcade. After the arcade, we gotta do Balloon Boy. That'll be interesting. Who edits your videos? God. Some underpaid fool edits my videos. I don't even let him out of his room. It's me. Oh my god, it's the sun! Ah. Alright, I've literally never done this before, so let's see how this goes. We just gotta survive till the purple thing, which I think is at like 12,000 points, roughly. Shit. <laughs> Don't worry about it, guys. Don't even sweat it. He's trash. Okay. I feel like this will be the biggest time loss. I don't know. I feel like I'll figure it out in a couple tries. It comes on the third day. Okay, cool. Thank you. I will sacrifice my five balloons to get it on the third day. All right, it's somewhere. The purple is here somewhere. There it is. What? What? Shit! <laughs> is there another one? <laughs> That was it! That, I, did, I did get an achievement! Whoa, another Steam achievement. Wild. That takes care of that. Now it's taco time. Oh god, I gotta do the feckin' minigame properly. We were still able to just like hide right here, right? I don't really remember. You're insane! And of course, no Roxy. I thought they might have fixed that, but... It's looking like a no. Yeah, this is pretty intense gameplay. Should be getting nervous. Oh, oh. oh, you scared me, bro. I don't know why that door is closed, but it is, so that's cool. Oh, it's because this is, this is big brain, guys. Instead of opening the doors, the game just changes their state. So it's like, oh, you have the doors closed. Well, now you have them open, idiot. Except since I had the door open, now the game's like, oh, now it's closed, idiot. That's a bug that I forgot in the compilation. That's dumb? Yeah, it sure is. But at least we know we can use that strat now. So this should be disc number 14? Oh yeah, and that's all badges now as well, so I can split that. Exclamation mark, maze two, please. Don't know where I'd be without you guys. Probably have to like, Remember this and shit. That would be terrible. I don't got a lot of mental real estate as is. Can't be wasting it on useless things like combinations in the game that I play every second day. There's a couple mistakes I'm wondering if I'll make today. Yeah, no Monty. Sorry, guys. Why'd you do no Monty? You guys, you want to see Monty in future runs? He's easy as is. Why'd you gotta do him like that? All right, fine. We'll have Alpha Monty for future runs. You know what? We're just gonna walk Freddy there. Like, calling him is so iffy here. All right, so this will be the 16th disc. And then we just have like three more collectibles to do. And then that's totally gonna be it. I remembered something that I missed. <laughs> I missed it right at the start. I'm glad I remembered. Well, it's better that I remember than we get there and we're like, huh, what the fuck do we do? Inventory check? Yeah, I'll do it in a sec here. 11 upgrades. 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So if we have all discs, we're good. That's 16. Woo! Clean. Oh, the notes. I didn't check the notes. How am I missing one? Hey, right, party foul. We got it. Hello, Gregory. Of course, I have Chica report. What's better, employees? I think we might have found it, but I'm fairly certain. All right, I think I found it, but I've picked that up. So apparently this is the one I'm missing, but I swear, 
I picked it up. Who knows? All right, that's it. We can finish the first run. Now that's not good, because I have like a false memory of picking it up then. <laughs> All right, that's done. That's one down, 100%. Woo! One full run down and 100% escape ending finished. Next was Princess Quest. I still felt normal because three hours is short for me, but things were about to start feeling weird as constant deja vu would set in. How are you supposed to remember if you did something when you had just done it a couple hours prior? I'd figured out Balloon Boy. Time to go again. Let's see if we can pick this up right meow. Unlike the last run. Yeah, there we go. There we go. It's a crappy Mr. Hippo fridge magnet. Been gone for two hours, what'd you miss? Pretty much a playthrough of the game. Two hours ago, I was pretty much right here. Hey, anybody's parents like, or are you like professional candy crushers? Do we got any big top of the leaderboard crushers in chat? Your mom, my grandma, my, my mom's on level 10,000. What the fuck? Somebody was like, when's 600 sprintless, jumpless, no Freddy? Hmm? YouTube's like, man, that's crazy. Spiff hasn't posted in a while. I wonder what he's been up to. <laughs> in reality, I've just been spending 20 hours at a time doing 600% runs. Oh, that was clean. I really thought I was gonna die there. Goodbye! Wow, and she's behind me. That's not good, actually. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling that would happen. That's both runs now that I've died at pizza. <laughs> Instead of like walking across, she just insta teleported behind me. And I just kind of hoped that I'd be safe in that room. Otherwise, you take a death. Oh no, there's another prediction for. Oh, I always forget about that. See, for me, it's like. Eh, you know, 20 seconds, whatever. But then you guys, I forget you guys keep having bets on if I'll die or not. Uh, <laughs> shit. Um, I got all the collectibles in here. I didn't get the bag, but I never get the bag. So I think we're good. We're almost at E2. If you're planning on typing E, you gotta put it, you gotta put a two at the end, guys. This is E2. <laughs> I love the two in brackets. I wanted to include this in the bug compilation, but I didn't end up doing it. This is just like a keyboard asset. If you look at the, where the button is, it's just like a keyboard asset and they just puked the button on top of it. It like awkwardly covers L and K and enter and like nine and 10. How many frames? Count them. One, two, three, four, five. This is like seven maybe frames. <laughs> Spiff's the type of dude to watch Gregory and Freddy fanfics in the shower. I have never watched anything in the shower in my life. When I shower, I just wash my body. I never ate food in the shower. There's like an ongoing joke in my family for a while because one supper, like I really had to go to the bathroom and it was gonna like take me a while. So I just like brought my plate. <laughs> I was a kid, by the way, I want that to be clear. I just like brought my plate to the bathroom with me. And to me, it's just, just not weird at all. It was kind of like efficient, you know? <laughs> but apparently it was kind of strange to my family. So they made fun of me for that a while, for a while. <laughs> Filling and unloading at once, yes. <laughs> How would the shit water splash onto the plate? What kind of insane like tidal wave shit water do you guys have? Why is that a comment I've seen multiple times? But you guys like shit and it's just like <gasps> from under you. <laughs> yeah, we got some cloggers in chat, I think. What's the wackiest thing you guys put in craft dinner? My dad used to, it's fairly normal, but my dad used to like boil hot dogs and put it in there. That was good shit. Sugar? Well, I don't think I'd like that. <laughs> Oregano. Oh my God, once me and one of my now roommates snorted what's that one spice it might have been cumin uh, i don't think it was cumin but it was like a red spice all right might have been chili powder yeah might have been chili powder holy shit, it's bad this time yikes 
it hurt a lot. Cayenne, it was Cayenne. Oh, there he is. That's that's Naked Man. That's the guy that I did it with. He was Cayenne. Yeah. I've never had clearer sinuses in my life. Hey, the bots are actually here this time. Chica gives off sweet girl vibes. I could tell her about my day while laying my head in her lap. Never thought about that. Whoa, they updated the visuals. That's crazy. They did something to the game. I wonder if they fixed the, uh, the whole Bromigas shooting through the wall. Probably not. Why fix gameplay? Oh, I don't remember the order. Shit. Uh. Uh. Oh, Lord. There you go. This is more about hotness than looks? Yeah, but I think if we're talking about hotness, we are focusing on looks. We're not talking about, like, dateability. <laughs> Alright, guys, which animatronic has the hottest personality? <laughs> Shut up. Roxy Pinata is kind of chunky. It's a pinata. It's literally full of candy. Of course it's chunky. I'm honestly surprised by the number of Roxy fans. Like, is it the confidence? Is that what gets you guys? How is nobody saying Gregory? All right, time to talk about something else. Uh, believers, do you think I'm gonna die? I thought kids got stuffed into like all the suits. How are any animatronics different then? Not all the suits? Oh, well, yeah, look at that. We're getting there, guys. I'll, I'll know the lore eventually. You play FNAF and you don't know the lore? Yeah, I mean, I'd much rather figure it out myself and have a whole bunch of people with different opinions in my chat give me their opinion. That's a lot more fun than, like, seriously researching it. So it's been a slow process, and I've been fed <laughs> a lot of false information at times, I feel. I made one video about this game's lore, but, I mean, nobody's really got a good take on this game's lore. I think my sarcastic video fit really well because this game doesn't really have good lore. MatPat though? I mean, he just made a couple, like, kind of out there theories. I think the answer is just that this game's story was poorly made. So it really is up to us to just, like, make shit up or decide that it doesn't count. Or whatever. I feel bad, like, when it comes to us, we love Security Breach because it's, you know, a, a broken disaster. It's, it's our broken game kind of thing. I feel bad for people who don't see it that way, who are like, yeah, I enjoy it because I like the FNAF elements of it. Watching them try to defend themselves online is like, like, I don't think it's hard to say that you like Security Breach, but you just have to, you have to be like, I like it because it's destroyed. You can shut up the haters by just saying, our trash. But for those who don't see it that way and still try to defend it, it looks hard. It looks very hard to defend this game. He's a really weird person I've met. There's this guy in Scouts. I'm sure he's become better, but his dad was like the Scoutmaster, and every like meetup, he would have a ton of new badges. So we pretty much just, in our heads, accused this guy of cheating and like getting free badges from his dad. And so we'd all just hate on this guy because he had way more badges than us and call him like a loser. But he probably actually did the work for them. But uh, no, he cheated. And like once he recited, I it was a really weird badge, but there was a badge for reciting part of the Jungle Book. So we had we had to listen to this pretentious asshat recite a passage of the Jungle Book. And I don't like the Jungle Book. I never liked the story very much. I hated him for that. Wasted like 15 minutes of my life listening to the fucking Jungle Book. <laughs> hey Spiff, I breathe some air and touch some grass. I'm back now. Good, good. Back for another Towers of Security Breach. P. Thank you, TTS, for not trying the rest of the symbols in that message. Thanks for the 100 bits, template. What's the coolest tank in the world? Like, in all of history, not just a modern tank. I'm trying to remember, like, what was, like, what was, like, the British World War II tank? Because the Germans had panzers, and then, like, the British had another funky name for other tanks. <laughs> Not the Churchill. <laughs> I don't think that's a thing. No, 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 it started with like an H. The Chica tank. Oh my God, FNAF. Was that the tank of 87? <laughs> tank top? Wow, you guys are <laughs> hairy. I don't think anybody's ever named a tank. <laughs> hairy. 
Isn't a howitzer like a gun? Okay, we got, we can't do this because God knows you guys have said it and I just don't even know. Sherman, it's the Sherman tank. Right? It's gotta be. That's American? Uh, okay, might not be that. <laughs> Sherman begins with H. It's, it's H is the second letter, okay? Let's see if Princess Quest is still, uh, like, bugged. How does PQ2 bug? Um, enemies can shoot you through walls. It makes for some shit. Some, some real... Some real shit. Just don't get hit by them. Maybe if you were just better at the game, Spiff. I'm not. Oh, it's happening. Oh, shit. Oh, Lord. The crabs, they go get me through the walls. Like, look at this shit. Fuck. <laughs> this is unbelievably. Oh, I'm gonna die. No, I. No. <laughs> I hate you, Princess Quest. Two. It's just the second one that does this. Embarrassing school stories. I mean, once we brought a bunch of eggs to school to do like Ukrainian egg decorating. And we brought way too many. So to solve that problem, we just decided to throw them around outside at recess. And to our surprise, they bounce if you land them on the right spot. So we would just like spend our recesses throwing eggs around. And needless to say, we got in a lot of trouble because we essentially threw eggs around in the school schoolyard for many recesses straight. And I actually, it's the first time I ever forged my parents' signature because I was so ashamed that I'd gotten caught throwing eggs that I refused to ever, like, we had to take home this thing to get it signed for them to, like, prove we've been, we've been punished. Ah! Um, and I, I never showed them. I never showed them. I used to get really emotional about snow forts. So whenever we'd build a snow fort in the winter, if any of the mean big kids broke it, I would like go off and attack them. And it always went in my favor because like if a 14 year old kid breaks a snow fort and just gets savagely attacked by a eight-year-old. You know, the eight-year-old is never the one, especially if the eight-year-old cries, because I would usually cry after attacking them. The eight-year-old is usually not the one who gets in trouble, so. I defended our snow forts with threat of vicious big attack. I got once this kid, okay, I this is reverse, so now I'm like 14 and this kid is like eight. I went home for lunch. It's so like I missed all of lunch period and recess. And then I came back to school after lunch and I got called into the office. Like, okay, cool, what's that? Turns out this kid has reported that I pushed him in the snow and called him a loser at recess. And I like go into the office and the principal's like, is that him? And the kid's like, yeah, that's him. It's like, oh, David, I heard that you were doing mean things to children. And I'm like, motherfucker. And so I told him, I'm like, bruh, I wasn't even here. And I was let off, but the kid didn't get in trouble. But he was straight trying to frame me. Yeah, I should have punted him. I'll never forgive that kid for that. I didn't touch him. All right, escape two. Time for Mermaid Chica. Holy shit. Did you have a weird kid at school? It might have been me. Uh, actually. Let's see, in grade four, there were seven people in my grade at school. Me, one of my roommates, Riley, a guy named Ben, and four girls. And then, because we were just the most lovable guys, you know, got all the ladies, all four girls left the school. So, between grade 5 and grade 8, it was only me and two dudes. That was my entire class. Now, mind you, we'd always be in split classes. So, we'd have more ki more people in the classroom, but... In the grade, it, it was just the three of us for four years. Can you tell we were just women magnets? <laughs> Female repellent. <laughs>
No, they didn't leave because of us, I swear. They left because of, uh, like, you know, bus routes and stuff. Actually, I could show you guys my grade 8 grad picture. We were so cool, we dressed up as the three musketeers. Here's the th me. This is my grade 8 grad right here, guys. Yeah. Exiting Freddy's been a bit weird in Roxy Raceway. So I believe we should now have 10 discs. That's 10. All right, cool. We got them. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. The discs are never the problem. No, 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 no. It's going to be probably messages. Messages are the hardest because, like, discs aren't hard. There's only 16 of them. Bags are hard because they don't show up on, like, Freddy Vision. What's something cringe I've done? Probably my Waluigi cosplay. That's pretty cringe. I remember buying this. I only had, like, $50 in my bank account. I spent, like, 15 on a fucking Waluigi hat. Do not die, Spam. I got balls riding on this. Well, we're fighting Monty normally. As per chat's request, so... Uh-oh. So if you remember my video, that Monty is a baby version of Giga Monty. So I knew there was no surviving that if I didn't get in Freddy. Oh my lord. Freddy! What a leg spike. What a fucking leg spike. Oh my god. So, this has been a little bit stressful, guys, for sure. A little bit nerve-wracking. And just dying past 6 a.m. is just gonna suck, because... It's gonna mean... We lose a lot more progress than normally. Will they ever try a refund speedrun attempt? I mean, I could beat this game in under two hours so easily. In many, many ways, so... No. Okay, okay, let's think about this, David. Uh, we can confirm Monty's gone. The minigame despawns him. Can't use Freddy. Fuck. All right. You've blown it. <laughs> it's okay. Just get in the corner. All right, this is what I want. I want him to just stay there. Because then, once the door dies, this one will close and we'll just, like, back up and chill. All right, we outie. Yeah, good night. See you tomorrow. Unless you plan on sleeping for 10 hours, I'll be here when you come back. Uh, exclamation mark maze 2, please. Doing this a couple times today. I do remember the first few, but, you know, you guys have a job to do. <laughs> Keeping you employed. That should be good. Oh, we hit five. Bring it in for hour five. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. 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 We're not disrespecting your boy this time. Exclamation mark Y. I don't even have, I don't have an exclamation mark Y. Spiff actually doing the Monty boss fight? Yes. Thrilling. My heart was racing. How far am I? Close to halfway. We'll see if things deteriorate as I get tired, though. Because I've been streaming for, what, five and a half hours? That's pretty chill. I usually stream this long. How close am I to going insane? Check back in ten hours. Okay, that should be everything. Should we just check messages now? Get get the paint over with? 49? Once I was banned from a rec room server thing. <sighs> for twerking in a kitty Oh, costume. the pain. You don't suppose I'm missing the one in the lobby, hey? Why is it always one bag? Like, I don't miss collectibles, I don't miss discs. It's a BBW maintenance log. And I know why, too. 
Fuck. We didn't really miss this one because, like, we missed it in the route. We missed this one because well, the Monty scare. Like when Monty was just like chilling. We're missing one in uh, the theater because I was panicking. Because I, I remember like I jumped into Freddy desperately at the last second. There it is, guys. The missing bag. Please, I need the balls. Have I not died? Holy smokes. That's nuts, dudes. I only died once this run. I died to Chica. Right after Chica Pizza, I died. Can you actually skip it? <gasps> no way. I've never skipped this one before. In the old patch, this one said press E to skip, but it didn't actually work. How well do I remember PQ3? Not that well. Yeah, this way is like the fox maze. Yeah. Okay, I remember it really well. Okay, guys, what animatronic is this dude? So I can finally give the proper name. Is it, Well, it's like Foxy, but like doused in gasoline and lit on fire. Grim Foxy, huh? Okay. Foxy caught in a house fire. Let's see if I can not die now, because the... The conveyors are pretty brutal. Oh my god. Please, conveyors. Alright, I wonder if they improved the conveyor system. Maybe they did. The conveyors used to just, like, launch you off really awkwardly. It was very annoying. Like, instead of, say, the next one taking priority at a corner? Yeah, okay, no, they fixed it. It used to just, like, knock you off. So, like, I think this would just knock you off instead of turning you left. Now it properly turns you left. Well done, game. All right, another one down. Did it? Did I die? <laughs> okay, no, it gave me the ending, we're good. We were now beyond the limit of how long I usually streamed, so I was going to start getting tired and needing random chat messages to keep me going. It's occurring to me that in many ways, this is more of a podcast than an actual gameplay video. And if you ever want to watch the whole thing in full, it's on my VODs channel and I'll link it in the description. I've been told it's a good video for studying, and I have mid-roll ads turned off for it. So this time we're doing the Vanny ending, so not much special. If I could play one game for the rest of my life, God, I don't know. I mean, probably Minecraft, because it's just, it's a game engine. Oh, Vanessa. Like, you could emulate other games within Minecraft, so it might as well be Minecraft. It would give you the greatest amount of choice. Roblox is similar, I just would prefer Minecraft. There's Doom in Minecraft. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I've played some not bad, like, COD Zombies. Belief, or whatever. Alright, goal this run is to not forget a bag. Do we go for it? Oh, fuck yeah. Once this mean girl threw one of my friend's, like, tennis balls that he really liked on top of the school roof. It was the middle of winter, too, so there was, like, two feet of snow on the flat roof ceiling. And so, one night... I climbed onto the roof of the school and I spent like probably like an hour and a half just digging in this snow trying to find this like tennis ball and I was like probably 12 so every vehicle that like drove by on the street you know it's it's like the CIA coming for my ass because I'm on the school roof so I'd like duck down to the snow and I'd be like, oh my god, that's the same vehicle as before. Clearly, they just saw me and have looped back around to check. I never got busted, but I also never found his ball. It was such a waste. But it must have been so crazy obvious to, like, the school janitor. Because she goes on the roof. <laughs> it's just, like, a set of footsteps from the tree that I used to climb onto the roof. Leading to... Just this massive spread out snow area. Like I stopped doing climbing stuff by like 16. So if I'd been seen by some sort of law enforcement, I wouldn't have, it wouldn't have been that bad because it would have been like 
Oh, that fucking kid, but... You could be in serious trouble if you're doing that when you're, like, over 18. I don't know, as a kid, you climb trees and you're just like, Ha ha ha, this is so nice. But then when you get older, you know, you climb a tree and you're like, If I fall, I'm gonna die, you know? Dude, that happened to you? Shit. One of my biggest falls, it really wasn't that bad. I never had any big falls. It was so marking because there's this really thick branch, like... Like, you know, straight off the trunk, thick, kind of thing. And I grab it with both arms because this bitch is supposed to support me. And it was fully rotted out. I really didn't fall far, I fell like four feet, like it was barely off the ground, but... I remember being so blown away that such a thick branch could be fully rotted out. I've never climbed a tree, I mean... It's fun. It's a lot of fun, but you'll be okay without climbing a tree. Once I fell off the top of my bunk bed right into my back as a kid, and I just remember not being able to stand up straight for days and my back constantly hurting. Old age setting in quick. Damn. <laughs> Dude, Spiff, you're too old for this game. Yeah, but by that logic, I'm too old for most video games. Uh, we had like a, like a motorhome, and it had like the bed that went over top of the the driver's seat so you had to like climb into this bed and it's my favorite place to sleep i'm 22 but one night i rolled off of it so probably like four foot drop and like my it woke up my parents because i kind of landed on them and they they got me to go back into bed or whatever i never remember it happening like i never properly woke up so i fell off of bed like four feet and didn't even fully wake up they just told me about it in the morning who knows they could have just Made it up for all I know. Saw a helicopter fall out of the air once? Dude, that's nuts. Holy. Do you think you guys could board a helicopter without ducking? I could never. I don't care how high those blades are. I am ducking under that shit. Whenever I would, I haven't been on too many planes, but I always try to watch episodes of Mayday while I'm on a plane. If you want a hit of adrenaline, watch mini documentaries about plane crashes while you're on a plane. That's the strong shit. E3, this has gotta be E3. The craziest Mayday episode I ever watched. Cause I, I went on like a streak. I watched a shitload of Mayday at some point. Like it's true stories about plane crashes. Nobody even died, but the story is crazy. Essentially the front cockpit windows. Oh, count the frames, that was like five. The windows weren't bolted down properly, so mid-flight, the windshield blows off, and it sucks the pilot half out of the plane. His, like, feet get stuck on the steering column, and he's instantly knocked unconscious and just, like, flapping loosely against the side of the plane. And, like, a bunch of the, the, whatever they're called, hospitality workers, just, like, come into the cockpit and hold the man's legs down. And they emergency landed the plane, and despite, like, being exposed to freezing temperatures for, like, an hour. And honestly, everybody on the flight just assumed he was dead, but they wanted to keep his body. And, yeah, he survived. Like, you're holding this guy just flapping on the outside of the plane for, like, an hour, and he makes a full recovery. No! Oh, God, as time goes on, I get worse at this stupid jump. I swear, we're just gonna end up running down. <laughs> Please, video game. Video game, please. Fuck it. I don't care. We're running. I don't even care. Oh yeah, look at those toes. I love me some hard toes. I look over and see sniff sniff. You guys are unforgivable. Any terrible date stories? I mean, I kind of already told my terrible date stories like Tuesday. Me and Paige ever had any terrible dates? I mean, Paige's family is like kind of farmy. Like she's always lived in the city, but she has a lot of farming relatives, which is like actually the literal opposite of me because I make money playing video games. And even before I did that, I still spent my time like making videos and shit for other people. <sighs> what kind of bullshit? Oh no, we gotta go back. We gotta dip. We gotta dip. They had a fair where, like, they're, they're gonna show off their horses. And that's when I found out that I was allergic to horses. But I had no idea prior. 
So I got super sick. Like, I had to go to the on-site ambulance because I just couldn't breathe. Because I was, like, walking in and out of barns and stuff. Needless to say, Paige's family wasn't and still isn't very happy about that. I'm the city boyfriend who can't even be around the horses. Just stop being so sensitive. Yeah, I know. Split. Thank you. My first experience with vaping started just as lame as you'd expect. But I was at a basketball tournament. Some of the boys were like, hey, David, come check out our vape. This is like grade nine, so I was like probably 14. And then like we, the four dudes gathered underneath their blankets in one of his beds, in one of the dude's beds. So just like four dudes huddled underneath the white blankets. And we were like hot boxing the sheets. <laughs> with like grape vape. <laughs> wow. That sounds disgusting. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't, I wasn't amazed. Some of the, the dudes were like, oh, this is sick, bro. But yeah, beyond that, very little vaping ever in my life. But yeah, also at that tournament, I know three of my teammates, cause you know how like hotel showers are like really small? I know three of my teammates tried to like shower in the same shower. That would not fit. Holy shit, it'd be unbearable. You'd have like one dude actually getting water. <laughs> well, the other two are just like cold and stuck. <laughs> God understand, like we showered together our whole lives. I've just showered with dudes. It's been a while now. But if I were to shower at a gym, it would be the same. I just don't anymore. The showers at school, it's just like a post with six showers coming out of the side. You're all in it together. Oh, <laughs> it's got it's still got the lid on it. <laughs> school showers are disgusting. Well, that wasn't disgusting per se, but yeah, no. Like if you play on a sports team, you just, you just had to shower with the boys. There's two apple trees in my parents' backyard in the house that I grew up in. And so every year, if we didn't pick them, they'd fall to the ground. And we usually picked probably about three quarters, but we'd always miss some. They'd fall to the ground and kind of rot. And so you either got to pick them up, throw them out, or turn them into like applesauce or whatever, or just let them die. But anyway, my solution one year for all the apples in the ground was to just pick them up, throw them up in the air and try to hit them with a baseball bat because if you hit them with a baseball bat, they would just explode into dust. It was amazing, apple dust. And one year, probably the last year I did this actually, I grabbed an apple and I got like two or three wasp bites at once because there were just a bunch of wasps on the opposite side of the apple. They ate my ass, it was awful. Wasps are terrible. Don't fail us now, please. I don't attend on it, but I would say I am already more present in the conversation than I am in the <laughs> in the gameplay. My point exactly. So the deathless run comes to a close. <laughs> I could have sworn I had that combo right. The Chico one always messes with me because it forces you to look really far left to right. I have zero points. I can't even gamble now. <laughs> well, you should save like 10 then. Remember, Jet, don't let this hurt you. Keep believing no matter what, Jet. Surely he can't die again. There's no way. Honestly, though, if I am going to die, Freddy repair. Fitting AF. Alright, we had a bit of a lapse, okay? This doesn't count for the prediction, so don't worry about it. The prediction's still going, so... <laughs> I should stop talking. Uh, it was leg. Yeah, that's what it was. I hate you. No! Ah! I'm sick of dying! The third time in like half an hour. God. Okay, I'm after the repair at least. 
So chat, Spiff getting sleepy. No, I'm doing okay. I am no longer <laughs> believing. Starting to think not believing is more profitable. If that's all you care about, probably yeah. If somebody reaches one mil and like, you know, it wants to redeem it, I'm gonna make them promise to tell everybody in chat that they were <laughs> always a believer. That's how they won so much. That'll be the trade-off. I'll punch the monitor, but you have to lie to chat. <laughs> oh, that is the Chica Magnet, isn't it? So now the one over by, yeah, the bakery is like for sure not gonna be, is for sure gonna be opened because I already picked it up. That's so whack. At some point my ears start, my start hurting and I'll have to take my headset off. So you might have like round four or five be no sound. Woo. All right, all right, all right, all right. Time to die again, Roxy. I'm hoping that like as it gets later into the day, I get better at remembering all the collectibles as opposed to worse. But I am concerned that I'm gonna get worse. The funniest glitch you've ever heard of? There's this like SpongeBob speedrun. It's such a vague memory of mine, but you can like put ketchup on your disc and it makes the game run worse, which allows you to do some skips easier or some shit. Yo, Spiff, you're still going? Yeah. Escape three, Freddy. Woo! Bring it out. Soon to be hours seven. Scariest movie I ever watched. I don't know if it was the scariest, but I just remember really enjoying Get Out. That was a good movie. Not wait, is it Get Out? Yeah, I think it's Get Out. The one with like the black guy going to meet his white girlfriend's family, and they like try to turn him into like a like a like a host. People in horror movies have two IQ most of the time. Maybe that's part of why I liked it. I think you know for the most part. He made the best decisions. Okay, Monty, what's the best way to get somebody to stop following you? Oh, I got this actually. So I accidentally did this one. So here's the trick, right? You got somebody that you don't like and you want them to not like you, but you don't want to be mean about it. Drink like some Gatorade or something and then laugh and accidentally just spit all over their face with the Gatorade. It's like, you know, you couldn't help it. You were laughing. But also, people hate it when you do that. Once, a girl got me like a monster energy drink on my birthday. <laughs> and at lunch, that situation happened. I was laughing and I accidentally spit it out on her face. And she didn't let me forget about it for years. Like, it was the first year of high school. And like, by the end of high school, she was still like, oh, David, remember that time that you spit on my face? They never let you forget. What if she was into it? <laughs> well, then you have a different problem. You could still that do that in a long distance relationship. It just wouldn't be nearly as potent. You just like spit on your phone. <laughs> While you're in like a FaceTime with them or whatever. Once I was not bad, quite as potent for you. sure. Loading screen is not centered. Now it is. Good God. How long do you think it'll take the last 300%? <laughs> you know, I have this idea in my head that the last 300% are just going to be so much quicker because I'm going to be adjusted to everything and just plow through it all because I'm, I'm so good. I think the reality will be slightly different. Well, yeah, I was gonna say we almost made it to Mermaid Chica, but then I remembered uh, I already died. <laughs> so, I don't know what the prediction oh, is right yes. now, but it's probably not for Mermaid Chica. But that's just a goddamn shame. Are you out of bounds? No. What the fuck? Not good. I'm gonna get launched into space.
Quirky game, guys. Quirky game. What was that? Standard gameplay. Yeah, no kidding. Close to a thousand subs. I need that bag. Fucking Chica. Get out of my home. Wait, what? You're going in the corner? I'm panicking. Go check the main stage. I don't deserve an award. Oh, I've deserved some mental stability. Dude! Get out of here! I just need this bag! We need that bag. We can't leave without the bag. Have I ever eat, eaten ah. dice meat? Yes. How are you still teleporting, bro? Oh my god. It's all a prank. The hoodie actually this makes is you... the dumbest thing I've seen since the microwave incident. The hoodie actually makes you easier to see. The hoodie is censored or scented nice. There's Chica Mermaid Chica. Guys, there's like there's no way I don't forget something. Go check the main stage. Oh, how many That's, uh... gift subs did you just give Dan? Wait a second. That's it! That's the fucking that's Oh, wow. Gigamonty tattoo it is. Go check the main stage, Spiff. There's a Gigamonty tattoo waiting for you. Holy shit. I, uh, I didn't expect that, but here we are. You seem thrilled? I'm pretty tired. Beep up, thanks for the 14 gifted. You guys could chill the gifted. We hit... We hit the sub goal. Freddy! <laughs> Freddy, fuck, where are you, man? Let's just grab him like this. I said that I would get a tattoo for a thousand subs because I was relatively certain that I would never get a thousand subs on Twitch. But here we are. Never say never, yeah, I guess so. It ended up taking me like six months to get it, but I finally got the tattoo. Here it is in all of its glory. Sorry it took so long. It's good. I like it. And it's a sign that sometimes weird distant goals can actually happen. Now I have to make this into a video? Do I? What's gonna happen is I'm gonna kind of like fade right now. And then I'll perk up again for like the last four hours. But like I'll, I'm going on a, on a downwards... Spiral isn't quite quite the right word, but... I'll slowly fall apart and then I'll perk up for like the last four hours. True, you guys, you guys definitely help out. If it was just like me sitting here as a zombie doing it, I'd already be dead. Definitely like stand up, and stretch every once in a while. So we should have 10 discs. I have 11. That's not a bad thing. <laughs> Did I enjoy FNAF 3? Eh. Like, I enjoyed it, but it's probably my least favorite FNAF game. Like, what did I even do in FNAF 3? You just try to keep Afton in, in that far corner room, and that was basically it. Oh yeah, we're post 6 a.m. Get your head in the game, David. We're post 6 a.m. Ah, uh, well, we've been here before. I'm a nice podcast. <laughs> I'm just a podcast. It's my opinion on toes. I'm gonna skip that one. What is the worst and best jump scare? Sound? I really like the first FNAF jump scare sound, like the... <laughs> I like that, that's good. <laughs> this, I do not like the security breach jump scare sound, but maybe that's just because I've heard it too much. Oh. Oh my God, David, no, I for forgot to take a picture at the back of the arcade. <laughs> At least I remembered that I forgot. <laughs> what? So you want to clip that or something? That's, uh, that's a security breach moment, all right. Freddy teleported across the arcade. Just don't ask questions. Maybe I do need caffeine. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'll hail Ra, the sun god arcade machine. Freddy is floating. Okay. Okay. 
What's the scariest FNAF game? Probably four, because you're required to have volume on to Bing win. Bong. Don't know how you haven't lost your sanity. And you can't turn jump scare volume down, so when the jump scares do come, they are, they are in your face. All right, it's coming. One of these logs is gonna have that sweet, sweet purple spot. We gotta be ready to go all in on it. Ah, uh, yeah. Shit, I'm getting sleepy. I need caffeine. Dude, save, bro. Whoa, what have I watched that I'm embarrassed to say I watched? I watched a lot of, like, H2O when I was younger. This show about these girls who turn into mermaids when they get wet. It's kind of cool, I guess. No, that's Pog. H2O just add water. I love H2O. I don't remember much about it. So I watched it at a friend's house and they had like two TVs beside each other. So we'd uh, we'd simultaneously watch H2O and play games. So. No way I watched that too? H2O's a bigger show. Okay, I guess. Guess I'm not alone. I knew it. I knew you were going to teleport, you son of a bitch. That guy was in like the main taco time area, but he teleported. You used the elevator theme loop to study music? I couldn't. I could never use any of these songs for anything. I already hear them enough. Oh! <laughs> Peekaboo! What do you think there are more of? Doors or wheels? Probably wheels. I mean, if you count like, not just vehicles, you got like scooters and skateboards and rollerblades, definitely more wheels. <laughs> Door believers are delusional, I agree. I don't feel like fighting Monty this time. I'm not in a Monty mood, you know? Question of the day, have I picked up this gift or is it just gonna fu say fuck you? Oh, I haven't yet, oh damn. I waited pretty late. Killing Vanny, let's go. What do I need? I'm gonna put the repair on, like, what do I do? Oh my God. I guess it's just the mod to repair, then the two discs and the various other things in the basement, and then we're done. Kind of. And then we see if I've missed anything. What am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah, we gotta go back to... Oh boy, guys. Oh boy. <laughs> Not looking good. Please, ready? Good to see. There are more physical wheels than doors because there are more objects in the world that contain wheels other than those that include doors. Hey, <laughs> yeah, team wheel. We're almost done round three. I'm pretty nervous about the bags. I have hope, but who knows? Time to do my favorite thing to do. <laughs> Will we have a playthrough? Am I missing hi, Dave? What the fuck? <laughs> okay, that's one of them. Oh, I'm missing that one. Fuck. Did I miss you? No, it's not you. What the shit? Did I miss you? No. So you guys say angry mom. Is recycled pizza? I have recycled pizza. In daycare in the private party rooms? Yeah, there's one in there, but I already grabbed it. Oh lord, spiff brain. Hey look guys, a bag. That's crazy. Oh my god, the gift that I thought I was also missing. That's crazy. And there's the keychain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right all right we can now finish off run number three yeah i do have a mustache on the mic it's mike the microphone don't die now oh i don't know monty's looking pretty scary my poppy playtime got accepted oh my god i submitted poppy playtime okay shit i'll have to look at that <laughs> Looks like we're going to GDQ, guys. All right, uh, that's done. Daddy's dead. Okay, let's go. 
I had been reading chat more than I was playing the game. It was autopilot or nothing. There was no way I was going to consciously remember things having done them three times already. I noticed as well that I started humming and making little random noises a lot more the more tired I got on stream. And all I could really do is answer whatever dumb questions chat had asked me. Back at it! Woo! Bring in number four! I've been streaming for nine hours so far, yes. And we just reached the halfway point. <laughs> Goal is to not miss any bags this run. No bags shall be missed. I'm starting to like learn what collectibles are in what box, which is, that is another level. I knew that was gonna be the Chica Pinata. It's 8 p.m. for me. We might be looking at ordering something soon. Some sort of caffeinated, I don't know. All I have left to eat is potato salad. <laughs> so I might, I might order something. I've never ordered like a drink before. It doesn't sound like a great idea. I mean, it's gonna not be terribly fresh. Well, as long as we're wasting time here, we might as well grab this. Everybody say, hi, Dave. My pet kangaroo broke $2,000 worth of furniture. Those are the kind of chat messages that you get when you stream at this time of day. That's really too bad, but like, holy shit, you have a pet kangaroo? I, I'd let it eat up my furniture or whatever. It's a fucking kangaroo. I'm definitely going to spend more time looking at chat than I am looking at the run. Did you know that there's a mod that increases the size of Chica's thighs? Slipsy, the one who made the, the Minecraft penis, uses it. Where's the link? I don't have the link. Clearly, I don't use it. Okay, go home! Go away. I swear I didn't pick that gift up. Oh shit. That was a bit of a waste of time. Okay. I guess I did pick it up. <laughs> I remember watching you get it. It's my fourth time today, so. You know, I've already collected everything three times. How am I supposed to remember that I didn't collect something when I can draw upon three <laughs> memories today of already having done that? Oh, yeah, just factory reset my memory. Oh, shit, that's a good idea. E4! Make sure to include four at the end of your E's. Hell yeah, first time chatter is dropping an E. One, two, three, four, five, six frames. The E's better be highlighted in the video. I have no idea how I'd even start editing this. Man, I feel like I'm cursed on this jump. Oh, we didn't get it last time. Hey, I just gave up and ran down. I don't know why being tired is gonna make it not work. Fuck it. We're just, we're done with that jump. I'm done with that jump. Oh, Vanessa. We're just running down. I don't care. I don't think anyone would want to edit this, even if they're being paid. I've edited a 12 hour VOD for a client before. And in one night, by the way, it took about 12 hours. It was above 12 to 12, like 12 at night to, to midday. It was manageable because it was Terraria. So what I was able to do is I was able to skim, skim it. And I included every boss fight, every death, and every like, exciting moment and i just like cut out a little bit around those three elements and yeah at that point it was down to like three hours uh, you can watch three hours double speed not terrible dude oh my god that scared me shit why did i forget i might try to order something caffeinated here I don't think I could order a Crappuccino. What would even sell a Crappuccino? I don't have Starbucks on like skip the dishes or whatever. I'm thinking of just like texting my roommate to pick me up something. Cause he'll be home from work at like 9.30. Yeah, what, what do you guys want? I'm ordering for the whole chat. If I have this great idea. What if 
you did 600 percent blindfolded yeah hear me out six thousand percent yeah all right we gotta pull off a text here mid run okay I'm gonna try where's julian okay i found julian okay how do we bribe julian to get me starbucks all right i text him i bribed him with a tip people are just gonna start waking up guys fully rested and just walk in on us Damn, what a trip <laughs> Yas, Biff. Oh my god, slay. Six more hours. I just saw this dude stream. And he had this, like, scene he could switch to. Where, like, it was a fish tank. And if there were any mods in the chat, they would show up in, like, this fish in, like, this, this fish tank. So he could just, like... <laughs> Oh, there's any mods in chat? Let me just check my fish tank real quick. Oh, there they are, sleeping away. Mod check? <laughs> I don't think we have any mods, guys. Fucking quickscoped noob. Oh my god. She didn't stand a chance. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, shit. Uh, that's awkward. I knew I was right to abstain on this one. <laughs> Look at this mess. Like, listen, guys, the mod's been working for a long time, alright? It's been a long stream. No, 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 it's okay, it's okay, it's been a long stream. <laughs> we can't fix this. I... My heartfelt apologies go out, but there's nothing we can do. <laughs> Alright guys, there's a prediction up. If you, as a non-believer, won the last prediction, <laughs> we need to give money back to the believers. 700. If you lost under 2,000 from that bet, I don't feel pity. 2,000 is not very much. You can accumulate that rather quickly, and in fact, if you just... You don't even have to watch the stream. If you just sit and chat for the rest of the stream, you'll get like 5,000. Gave 5k in pity? What a champ. What a champ. Hero of the people. Okay, wait. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way that just happened. Alright, we need a break from predictions, I think. Who's running this prediction? I don't even know if it's Pepsi. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm not... I'm not... This ain't me. I'm just playing the game. Just close your eyes. Shake your head a little bit. Open it up. Then look at the options. It, I would assume that the mods have elected to teach valuable lessons about gambling today, guys. Hey, you know what? This is keeping me awake. First stream and I am losing all my balls. <laughs> Glad I am getting the truth experience. You are experience. getting the truth experience. Yes. I have heard losing as predictions being associated with my stream more than once. <laughs> How do you play for nine hours? And you're still in 4 a.m. To be fair, actually, nobody's asked that. Question, do you cuss at all? Um... Yes. Time for... Oh shit, guys! We're in post 6 a.m. Of number four. Not bad. Not bad. Any reason why I'm on the new patch? Um... One thing I did consider was the 6 a.m. save in the atrium. I'm a fan. I also, I like doing new patch because when crazy bugs happen, which have happened today, like, it's the current build of the game. It's a lot more fun to make fun of, so. 
The people want a bedtime story? Um, once there was this game. Millions of fans. A passion project for, I don't know, probably dozens of people. They worked hard on it for years and somehow didn't even come out with a understandable storyline. It was Fallout 76. Oh my god, Fallout 76. Todd promised 16 times the detail. No! Four, Four times, times the map, the map size. Size. Times the size. And we never believed in Todd again. Damn you, Todd. For those who ordered, who pre-ordered, and, and didn't get their canvas bag. Because canvas is such a scarce material. You get five dollars of in-game currency. With which you can buy light wood laminate. Yeah. Mermaid pick. Let's go. Just get a fish. Me and Paige, we got a fish. Right when we started dating, her mom was like, the fish is gonna represent your relationship. If the fish dies, your relationship is doomed. And she said it as a joke, but the fish literally died within the first 24 hours. It just immediately kicked the bucket. I don't know why. We might have killed it with some sort of incorrect water. And so the next day, we went and got another fish and we named it Hope because we hoped it wouldn't die. It probably drowned, yeah, probably. And it lasted for like six months. Not bad. I mean, what do you do with a pet fish? <laughs> you look at it. Ooh. Okay, actually, we've had so much bullshit with Freddy getting into Phaser Blast here. We're gonna take him in with us. Okay, do I have 10 discs? Discs, I do. Dubs. I didn't get Starbucks now. Julian, he said he would. I don't even know if they're open at this point, but if he comes, regardless of what he comes home with, I'll be grateful. Oh. The sun. <laughs> I love how exciting it is every time. It's like, since we're playing it over and over, we get to experience these things just over and over. And I got to enter the arcade twice, so. Oh, it's time for Balloon Boy again. Trippy land! Alright, we're good. Oh my god, no fucking way. Oh my god, you came through. Thank you so much. You are a lifesaver. Thank you, Julian. He's done it, guys. He's pulled through. Is it alcohol? No, it's like a Tim Hortons coffee drink of some sort. He even put a metal straw in it. <laughs> what a guy. Roxy, this is the fourth time we've done this and Roxy's never shown up. And she's still not here? Okay, well. Something... GR... Crimmel Crunch Wrap. Probably caramel. Let's rock and roll! Oh yeah, you guys enjoying this fight with Monty? Pretty crazy. <laughs> Gotta hope that we have everything now. Gonna check this one as I always do. As is tradition. Wow, I hadn't picked it up yet. That's amazing. Spiff, I need digging to keep me mentally stable. I didn't press complete the upgrade. I wonder if I can just, I'm pretty sure I have to do it all over again. Yeah.
Ta da! I did it! I did it! Look at me go! Watch this. You guys want to go on a Freddy ride? Oh god, come back! Let's ride! Oh yeah! You just woke up. Good morning. How you doing? We're almost done. Number four. Bro, you're so tired. Go get some sleep. I wouldn't be able to sleep right now. I'm so jacked up on caffeine. I would not be able to sleep. Uh, yeah. Time to check. 49? Yes! Yes! 49 unread, one red. We got all the fucking messages this time. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! I got everything! Let's go! First time this run, shit yes. Has this been deathless? No. I don't know. I don't remember. Have I died this run, would you say? I haven't died this run? That's crazy. Let's go pizza five! Pizza five! 400% was my quietest run by a long shot. In fact, I spent most of it in quiet contemplation of why I was going on 10 hours straight playing Security Breach. Things had turned around big time by the end, however, because Julian had brought me coffee and I'd successfully performed my first ever flawless 100% run, not missing anything. I only had 200% to go. I got the successful didn't miss any items run. Now I gotta get deathless. I, actually, the last run might have been deathless. I have no idea. Now somebody asked if I'm bored. No, I'm not bored. I, I could never be bored with chat. Am I gonna be a little, you know, fast bared out by the end of this? Yeah, yeah, I'll be a little fast Why can't we pizza moan the sound effect? All right, that is... Your last message I am reading. Hello, new friend! You sure up late are we having a slumber party? Where are all your friends? No, no, what a mess, what a mess. Where's the bottom? Where's the top? Clean up, clean up. Not bad if I do say so myself. <laughs> Spiff, you're mentally insane. I will admit this is one of the most more iffy things I've done in content. But it's going okay. We're 11 and a bit hours in and I, I haven't started giving you guys the silent treatment or something. I can't tell what you guys go more ham for. E-spam? Ticking? Or DJ Music Man jam? Unaltered. Unfiltered. Natural ticking. Open the door, dipshit. You got one job. This is the purpose of your pathetic chicken life. Open this door. I remember wa watching Markiplier get here and telling, like, because I had just played the game before him. And I was like, dude, he's gonna get stuck in this room. Like, this game is, is terrible. Hey, Chica. Uh. <laughs> and yeah, sure enough, I called it. And then you Fredor her on the other side. See, so yeah, the game was really bad at uh, telling you where you had to go. I kind of forget the, day, the days of not knowing my way around. If I taste blood in my mouth, help. Shadow at midnight, I fear you are beginning to see the early symptoms of becoming a vampire. I don't know what to tell you. Good news is, you're immortal. Bad news is, gotta start sucking off. <laughs> I 
hope your uh, I hope your throat feels better. Not throat, but yeah, mouth feels better. Which ending are we at? Number five. Uh, this is the fire ending. Ooh, we get to do Afton on number six. That's kind of exciting. We'll unlock new gameplay at number six. It's like so many of the endings are just the exact same, but you go through a different door. Afton adds gameplay. E5, guys. I came here for, from the Schlong Anarchy server video. Let's go. That video is pushing 100k. My least well performing video in like half a year, probably because I had to take it with nudity because it had a penis in it. Let's go. See, you can't even say that I've been lazy streaming for 12 hours because I have been exercising every time we get to E. You know how hard it is on my delicate fingers to press E a about a hundred times? It's a toughie. All right, guys, count the frames. Count the frames. Been max seven lately. One, two, three, four, f yeah, that was just like five. That was weak. Nine, that's bold. <laughs> I guess there were the frames when I first dropped down, but that actually usually goes fairly smoothly. And thank you, everybody who's hung out. I I wouldn't do this. I couldn't do this without company. Hell to the nah. All right, can we get this? Oh my god, after twice in a row of angrily skipping it, he gets it. Holy shit. Hello, crocodile? Jump? You're totally gonna jump. You know what? That's actually quite okay. I saved like 10 seconds ago. I wanted him to jump, so I like swerved a bit to let him catch me, but he was closer than I thought. What is 700%? Oh, next week, of course. You know, I'll be able to PB. Can you imagine, like, fathom doing like a 16 hour run and you fuck up at like hour 11 and you lose your time save? I would, I don't know what I would do. Take like a club to my car or something. Oh, uh, you know what I kind of miss, guys? My untitled Goose Game speedruns. Now that's a speed game. For like a week, I speedran untitled Goose Game. And I'm still like top 20. A bit of a goose chat. And then I got bored. But now I look back on it nostalgically. Fuck, I just lost fucking Phaser Blast. God, what an idiot. It's not the right element. What do you even go? What do you do? Shit. Yeah, here we go. Alright, let's give him another shot, guys. That, that didn't happen. Run it back. How the fuck do you lose to Phasma Blast? I've actually done it quite a few times. Um, they do a lot of damage, okay? Did I lose that Phasma Blaster? No, I didn't lose. I don't know what you're talking about. I would never turn on the reticle. I would rather give up my stream key than turn on the reticle. Who do you think I am? I ain't no reticle user. Come on. Oh, chat, 12 hours. I saw an OnlyFans ad pretty recently. That was like, obviously, it was like, post your best gaming clips <laughs> on OnlyFans. I don't know how I feel about that. As gamers, what do you guys think? Think OnlyFans should be a gamer website? Get out of my shit. Uh, if you pick up the head without turning voice volume on, it doesn't go in your inventory. Hey, I actually remember this bag this time. Who's a good boy? I'm a good boy. Are you for reals, bro? Are you actually for reals right now? And how did I teleport up here? I like called him over there. He came from that direction. 
that somehow ended up on the other side of the door without having opened it. Freddy's been teleporting all over the place today while I'm in him. A little mental check-in, guys. How we doing? Got about one and a half plays to go. Just woke up. Please help me. I want to die. So tired. I should be asleep. When's the Monty Gator tattoo? Because me and my whole family are waiting loudly crying. Well, it's not going to ha gonna happen immediately after. Um, so it it'll be at least a week, I think. Oh my god, he swerved into me. Bro, you would suck at driving on a freeway. Holy. Pew. What does the prediction mean? I don't know, but you already bet yes, so... Regardless of if I explain it or not, you're in too deep already. I didn't get this bag? I could've sw <laughs> No, I got this bag! Oh, I reloaded. <laughs> I'm dead, I'm sleep. Our food is finally done and I am at peace. Nice to cook for you and listen to you at same time. Thank you, Megan. Good night and good luck. For those who don't know, it's my sister. And in exchange for me buying her a laptop, she makes me a meal once a week. Wow, you didn't. Ah, uh, no way you're stinking legging into the box. Oh, you're not. Thank you. Did you guys know? We got some real stars in the Magic of Pegasus speedrun community. Third place is the streamer with the longest daily stream streak on the Twitch. He's been streaming daily for like eight to nine years, something like that. He's on like over 3,000 straight days of streaming. Pretty cool people. I've tried to go in his chat a few times and he just ignores me. I'm not very popular in the Barbie speedrun community. I had to learn how to and set up like a Windows fucking 95 virtual machine to play a Barbie game once. Unreal. I've never put so much effort into anything and it was for a Barbie game. So I know how to set up virtual machines now. I mean, that's kind of cool. For some reason, Barbie games exploded in like 2005 era-ish. There was like eight 2005 Barbie games and then they just stopped. Did I memorize every single item location? Pretty much, yeah. Um, it's, you know, I couldn't name them all off to you in a list, but when I enter areas, I have an idea in my head of, of all the ones that are there. Any notable events missed? Well, I beat the game. <laughs> Probably not particularly notable, but... Oh, oh, Vanessa? Comes from, like, one of my first playthroughs, because when you're in the elevator going to the escape ending for the first time... Vanessa like tries to get you to go back to the stage She's like Gregory. I think you deserve a reward and I reacted as any Gregory would And so I said oh Vanessa Yeah, Vanessa tries to flirt with a child. It is kind of strange a reward. I, I know no, it's it's very sexual despite Gregory being very ten years old. It's very strange just it's very out of place you know she's just kind of been this annoying douchebag the whole game and then she's like hey you want some of these titties gregory you'd be a good security guard gregory gregory's a robot so it doesn't count wrong until he's till i see wires coming out of him he'll be, he'll be my real boy oh shit Nice, we wanted to hole in one this one. Mermaid Chica in the house. You did it, believers. You held out. Believers? They won? I must be dreaming. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Good morning! <laughs> For those waking up. Hello! The sun is shining! It's a bright day. Rise up, chat. If I cared about time, I'd still be pretty happy with this. That's a pretty terrible spot. Got it. Dose. Watch this. Mop bot? That motherfucker. The same mop bot. I swear to God, it's the same mop bot. 
I swear. I swear. Alright, I think we're going to pee break. If not, you know, my save's not that far away. I'm actually gonna bring my headset. That was so nice. Okay, how we doing? I actually have another donut I might tackle here. Hope you can last the rest. Yeah. It's crazy to me that, uh, you know, a lot of you have been around for the whole thing. 14 hours that I've been streaming. The run's been going on for 13. Wowie zowie. I, I can't draw upon memory to tell me if I've picked up a collectible. It's just either the autopilot gets it or we miss it. It's funny people coming in and saying like, Spiff, I left, you know, I got a college degree. I had kids, they graduated. I come back and you're still streaming? Wow. Spiff, I dead. I was buried. I decomposed and you're still live? Oh my God. I got a girlfriend and you're still streaming. It's the longest one, isn't it? Oh yeah, I'll do Monty for the last run. Sure, sure. How do I feel about Canadian stereotypes? They're funny. What are your stereotypes of Germany? Uh, like... Like, wieners? <laughs> the hot dogs? Uh, Oktoberfest? Oh yeah, yeah, like the language says things in an angry way. Like, like, I, like whatever butterfly is in German, it's a very angry word, if I recall correctly. Sweden stereotypes, since you Canadians love stealing from us, cough our national anthem of animal? Dude, what do you, what do, you're mad at my country and I don't even understand why. What's the beef with your national animal? Your animal's the moose? Oh, are you talking about like the moose statue war that we've had? <laughs> Our countries had to like have a ceasefire because we keep trying to outdo each other with big mooses. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's pretty rough. I'm not missing three, I'm only missing two messages. Am I missing the answer? Huh. Am I actually missing that? Well, chat, I figured it out. I can't believe I missed those. Yeah, those, it's pro uh, it doesn't really surprise me that I missed them. No, I take it back. It doesn't surprise me that I missed them. It's just so much easier to get the gifts than it is the messages. And I feel like messages are in dumber spots. I don't know. What are the endos gonna be doing here? Are they just gonna be chilling? Wow. I can't believe I missed this one. Huh. Let's go! Let's go finish them off! We're about to get onto the final stretch, chat. I'm pretty psyched. We're watching this, man. We're watching this shit. Take it in. It's the true ending. Down with collectibles, he says. I've been collecting them for 14 hours. I hate collectibles. Kill the Gregory. It's Vanny. She gives him a hug. She says, you did so great, Gregory. We burned down the pizza place. And Freddy says, mm -hmm. I'm pissed. See these hands, bitch. These are my fighting hands. Oh no. Freddy, I swear I'm on your side. <laughs> Freddy doesn't know how to body check somebody without going with them. Idiot. They're both dead. And what's this? She's Vanessa. But wait, there's still a different timeline, Vanessa, on the roof. Mind blow. 500% had been like a Thursday night. You're at the breaking point at the end of the week, but you can't celebrate yet because there's still Friday. There was nothing I was looking forward to more than just being able to say, hey, this is the last time we're doing everything. This won't just be another Monty fight. This will be the last Monty fight. 
My god, I was looking forward to 600%. It's the final run, baby. What time is it? It's 1.35k. I might start getting a bit quieter because my roommates might be trying to sleep. Dude. If I could beat up a staff bot right now, oh, I would go to town. They are asking for it. It'll be nice to go to sleep. I'm... I'm like, like, a couple hours ago, I was too hiked up on caffeine to sleep. I'm, you know, I've, I've, I've done a full day. I will spend every single waking minute playing this video game. My longest stream ever is 24 hours, but like, I was, I, I didn't have many viewers, right? Oh, hey, bruv. So I think I legitimately spent a couple hours of it actually not talking, so. <laughs> It's just different. I spent some time doing some Sea of Thieves parkour speedrunning. I did some time doing some Flash game speedrunning. And then I really just dicked around on a Minecraft hardcore world for like eight hours. I got a pretty good time in Raft Wars, if you know that game. I'm like eighth on the leaderboard. Yeah, yeah, guys. Next stream, we're actually just going to watch 10 hours of Nine Cat. Oh. Now that's content you're here for 10 hours of nine cat oh only the real ones will stay for 10 hours of nine cat time for the last ticking my dudes the last hit of natural ticking prepare your veins for the injection straight into your bloodstream this stream is the pain nah this stream's been great this stream's been fun what do you say the last pizza split Please don't die. Try not. How in the actual... What? How the fuck did you not activate... You did this time. Oh, that makes tons of sense, Chica. I hate you, Chica. You make no sense to me. Trust me, guys, we've been here before. It's not a very comfortable place to be. But, fun fact, I would have died if I stood up. That's how tight that shit is. I know they're coming for my ass, but they can't have my ass. I've given them so many chances to claim this booty. Never taken it. The last E. It's the final E, Jack. Let me see some sixes in those E's. The sex top. Is six sex? I think so. It's the sex E. Alright, guys, count the frames. Everybody, bring out your counters. That's one, two, three, four, five frames. Come on, the last run. We, we might as well get this stupid trash bin jump on the last run. She's uh, still standing in place. The fuck am I doing? I'm just trying to get up this fence, okay? <laughs> it usually doesn't take long, but something about playing the game six times in a row has really, uh... Oh, wait a second. Oh, wait, but the prediction. Good thing I got it. Hey, bro. Didn't really see that coming. I was just surprised because I've played this five times already today. You know. <laughs> Please be careful. My ball's in your hands. I will cup them gently, Game Dragon. Nothing terrible will happen to me. Remember the scam of 2022? <laughs> you guys are never gonna let that go, are you? Who was there when the believers were torn of their sweet, sweet balls? <laughs> Why don't I have abs? Because I streamed Security Breach for 16 hours at a time. Somebody named I Love Spiff just got banned. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> it's looking like I think we're gonna be able to keep it under uh, 17 hours, which is nice. Wow, it's actually the last one. I have a hard time grasping that, to be honest. It kind of just feels like this is my life now, you know? All I do now is play Security Breach over and over. 
Oh, we have late Chica spawn, it looks like. There she blows. And then we hide. She'll never know where I am. Oh shit, she knows. Is that a win for the prediction? Oh shit, a believer's win on the last run? Bebop, it's your time to shine. Still my favorite flavor of kombucha. I really like the lavender one I just had. I really don't know what my favorite would be. Oi! Oh wait. Do we have a Oh the prediction just started. <laughs> Safe. Guess what? We're gonna 360 Afton Bag collection. Actually remembering. Hell yeah. It's coming up on 3 a.m. and I started this run at 11 a.m. today. We got a problem, guys. I can't call Freddy. I need you to jump, Omega. He never jumped. My balls have fallen. <laughs> Crushed under the smothering impact of Omega Mati. Bam, that's the last arcade. Ah, yeah. What are your thoughts on beans? Oh, yeah. Oh, beans? Greatest thing in the world. Come on, guys. Ask me a little bit more thought provoking. No, don't ask me more thought. You know what? I tail take the beans. Thanks, 100 bits. Don't ask me more thought provoking questions. I take it back. What's the meaning of life? Well, obviously, to do shit like this. Come on, that's. That's a no-brainer. Use your head. 360 escape ending. Oh shit. Gregory's got the moves on the 600%. Alright, we got high Dave. Don't worry about that. Did we get this gift? We did. Good. The first disc of the final run. Okay, Monty's right there. No, no, no. We're not fucking around. Not fucking around. The final Monty Golf. I never really got a good run with this hole. It's hard to get that shot exactly correctly. The FNAF movie drop? See, that's not happening. End of world as we know it? Maybe. You know? Sun eating up Mercury? Maybe. FNAF movie coming out? That's some copium shit. If there was a FNAF movie, would you want it to like answer questions about the story? Or do you want it to just be like its own little thing? Yeah, you guys are pretty split. Yeah, hopefully I can finish strong and not miss any collectibles, but I'm not gonna hold it against myself if I'm missing a couple. It's gonna be quite human if I'm missing a couple. I will hold it against you, says the believers. Why is that bag gone? Okay, game. Why does it glow? Because it's the sun. It tells us that we're on the right path. Hey, Freddy. What's your favorite go out of the house when you're not thinking? What? What is that? Please. <laughs> is that a messed up question or am I just messed up? World record? Oh yeah, it's gonna be world record. What's the point of this though? What's the point of anything? For fun. For accomplishment. For sweet, sweet victory. Oh shit! It's not looking good, chat. I need at least two lives. If I get one balloon, I'll have enough. Let's fucking go. It's almost 6 a.m. My mom's gonna kill me. Just don't tell her. How does the end of the run taste? Tastes like this donut that I'm gonna eat after I finish the run and oh, I'm looking forward to it. There were no like insanely painful time losses in 16 hours. We had time losses, but like nothing over a minute, I would say. Can I get 
for one last time. Can I get the maze command chat? Yeah, I'll do the Monty fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll spawn in. Beta Monty. It's time to rock and roll. You and me, man. Just like old times. You doing stupid shit and pretty much ignoring me the whole fight. Just like old times. See a nerd? Personally, I don't think I've missed anything, but like, I, I never think I've missed anything, so. One more ride, Freddy. I'm ready, Freddy. Let's ride! <laughs> he carries you most of the way. We've taken this Freddy ride many times today. Ah, oh, the exotic butters. Take a quick peek at them one time. Okay, let's check. God damn. If that ain't the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. I think we have everything, guys. Every single goddamn thing on the final run. Did you believe? Oh my god. Time to get the la- Oh yeah, the, the endos are gonna be alive. Oh, and you need to turn on the gens to even open the door. Ooh. It's like the real deal. I don't care if the Afton fight is working or not. I wanna Fredor this bitch. Fredor his ass so fucking hard. Give it to me. <laughs> I'm just flexing on how much dominance I have over this video game. It's just like Fred shoulder. It's barely even Fred door. Come on, please, Afton. Do something. God, you're slow. What an anticlimactic final fight. That's five. Three more. You're still alive. Not for long. For this last one. The last bear. This is such a hard boss fight. God dang. The longest speedrun I've ever fucking done. Potentially the longest I will ever do. Come on, Afton. Fuck. Just do it, man. You're killing me. Chica's still hanging out. Please, man. Guaranteed he's gonna walk again. He's walking. God damn it. <laughs> I love how it's just been Chica. She never left. I think she's stuck stuck. What? There's still another? Did we count wrong? <laughs> what? Okay, please, bro. Make it quick. Surely this next one will be it. There's no way this next one isn't it. Right, Afton? Right, pretty boy, Bigfoot, Rampa Peepa. Just do it, man! This is your last chance to make Freddy your bitch and kill Gregory. Where is the beat drops? Oh my god, he moves as the beat drops. <laughs> This is what he meant when he said, I always come back. Please. What? They changed it. They must have changed it in the patch. They must have. Guys. <laughs> uh, what's going on? All right, this is concerning. <laughs> Why? Uh, I guess let's try to close the door. All right, door's not closing. Yeah, surely it's just one more, guys. <sighs> I mean, like we can just reload the fight and do it again, but just, just you know, I mean, the game thinks you're dead due to camera cancel. Oh, jeez. That... Yeah. Okay. Some. Okay. Well, you know what? That's one way of fixing it. 
That's six, so we should have two more. Should, fingers crossed. 4.30 a.m. I've been streaming for 17 and a half hours, roughly. Let's do this, ready? Let's end this bitch. <laughs> it would seem Chica left. This is gonna be number eight, right? Cheers for the finale. So glad I got to stay for the whole thing. <sighs> oh, split. Let's fucking go. <laughs> oh my god, that did take a while. Thank you everybody who hung out. That was probably the best speedrun I've ever done. That was so much fun. I gotta go to bed, guys. Have a good night. We actually fucking finished it. 16 fucking hours. I started so long ago. You guys. Big dubs. Have a good one. I'm gonna sleep. 07 chat.